Hello food tubers, I'm here at River Cottage HQ. My name's Paul West, I'm the host of River Cottage Australia. I'm here with Gil, the head chef at River Cottage. Hello Paul. Hello Gil. And we've got a basket full of goodies that John Wright has helped us pick up from around the farm. We're gonna cook up a nice quick little lunch. So I've got some bass that we caught yesterday on the boat. Unfortunately, you were a bit busy for that one, weren't you? It was a shame, it was a shame. It looks beautiful. And you've got, you've got these amazing elderflowers here. Oh, yeah. So the elderflower, yeah. Smells incredible. As you're doing, something very simple. I do a, a very simple fritter. Okay. Um, quite unusual, you know, to batter a whole flower and uh, So you batter one of these whole heads? The whole thing, yeah. Serious? And, uh, you know, it, it, it looks almost ridiculous you know, yeah. when, when you put it on the plate. A little bit of sugar, uh, fresh lemon juice, oh. um, and I'm going to get some gooseberries from, from the garden. Fantastic. Um, little gooseberry compote to go with, with the elderflower fritters. Well, I'm really looking forward to seeing how these fritters turn out because that's, that'll be a definite first for me. So I've seasoned, seasoned my fish. I've got my pan nice and hot. I'm going to take this fish stock. I'm going to pop it in this little saucepan here. Yeah. I pop those fillets in skin side down. I'll just give them a, a little bit of a push down with that fish slice, just so they get nice and evenly grilled. Because when they hit that grill, they tense up and they pop up, and you'll end up with just the edges cooked. Nice. Yeah. Beautiful, golden, crispy oh. skin. It's turned nice and opaque around the edges. The flesh has started to turn white. I've turned it over, and I reckon another two minutes on this side. Lovely. So now it's time for the key ingredient, the, uh, this lovely Meadow pick sorrel. Wow. So pop him in there. And, uh, Beautiful, man. So around to, to roll that down. There like that. There we go. Wow. A couple of butter in there. Just yes. To be on the healthy side. <laughs> Wouldn't be the same without it. That looks beautiful. I'm really, really looking forward to trying this bass. Oh, that's, Check yeah, that that's out. That's pretty good. You're getting good, you guys, aren't you? Yeah, we practice a lot. So, this so, looks good. So I might just give a squeeze of that. Do you like sea bass? <laughs> Do I like sea bass? I'm mm. sorry. That is a beautiful fish. I can see why. what all the fuss is about now. <laughs> oh, mate. Have I done the sea bass justice there, Gil? Totally. That is so good. Mm. That was super. The fish sorted. Okay, uh, uh, guys, if you you got more work to do, I, if mm. you don't need this, I'll just uh, I'll just take it away. Well, I, while, yeah. I'm, I've, I've I've cooked my bit, so I might pull up a pew next to you up on the love swing up yeah. there, trying yeah. to leave Gil to work, work the fish. magic. Thanks. <laughs> so, uh, so do you do you come to come here often, John? I do come here often. Paul, that is terrible. <laughs> I'm a married man, you know. Uh, so the sea bass was amazing. Now we're going to do pudding. Nice uh, summer pudding, nice and light, nice and fresh. Okay, so a couple of pans. It's about 500 mils of sunflower oil going in there. Got about 150 grams of plain flour, just plain wheat flour. And here I have a bottle of elderflower champagne. Absolutely delicious straight from the glass, but in a batter, it's, it's just as good because it's bubbly. You're getting this kind of tempura thing going on. I'm going to put some sugar in there first. My God! Now that, did you see that? Okay, so that was pretty exciting. And if you want to know more about making elderflower champagne, click right here. So we're looking for a, uh, a nice light batter. Right, these beautiful elderflower heads, um, when they're young, you can eat all the stem right back to the, to the top here. But as, as the season goes on, you probably end up just eating the, the flowering tops. 
Beautiful, so elderflower set up, ready to go. Gooseberries, I'm literally just gonna show them the pan, um, maybe a minute max. I don't want them falling apart. Um, just starting to, to lose their shape a little. So they go in like that. A little bit of sugar, a little bit of lemon. To major on the elderflower, all I'm gonna do is take two extra heads and just pop them on top of the gooseberries like this. Right, the oil's hot. I'm gonna take one of these elderflowers into the batter. So watch this, this is how you do it. I think we're looking about one minute max. Nice crispy golden batter straight out onto a plate, dredged with sugar and lemon juice and we're ready to go. I'll just, um, just let that drain off on there, a few seconds, then on, onto the plate. A little bit of caster sugar, fresh lemon juice. Gil, they are looking fantastic. Hey, all right. Gil, we ma magically reappear. Oh, the right oh. Nice to see you. Just softened in, in the heat. Um, oh, they smell incredible. A little incredible. bit of elderflower in there. Okay, guys, help yeah, yourself. I, I don't know how you're going to eat it. Oh, oh, Gil, thank you. This looks it's good. Absolutely stunning. How do you eat it, Gil? I think you just take a bit of fritter, pile on a little bit of gooseberry. Oh. Any good? That is so good. Wow. John, thanks so much for showing me around what's available just at the very doorstep of River Cottage HQ here, mate. It's been a very educational morning. And Gil, mate, thanks for these fritters. They are, that was an absolute eye-opener, mate. Fantastic. Pleasure. And if you at home, all you food tubers enjoyed it, feel free to comment below. And also, if you like this, subscribe for more great recipes at River Cottage Food Tube. See you later.